welcome back to Adventures of Mule Hawk, where we do camper van, Colorado, and travel videos. If you're new around here, thanks for tuning in. We started our YouTube channel back in 2016 when we did a truck camping tour all around North America. If you haven't seen those videos and would like to check them out, I'll put a link down in the description box below so you can find them easily. We're in our Colorado winter series now, can you tell? Last week we showed you how to stay, how we stay warm in our DIY camper van, and this week we're sharing our favorite winter activities to do in Colorado for the holidays. With one caveat, COVID-19. So we made it our goal for today's video to share things you can do with low risk during the holidays here in Colorado in winter. With the recommendations from the Centers for Disease Control, the lowest risk, lowest risk activities are outdoors with only a small group of people and distanced from others outside your household. And if you must be around others, you'll have to wear a mask. So the activities and events we'll focus on in this video will be ones that fit that criteria. First up is the most obvious, skiing. Whether it's downhill skiing or cross country skiing, Colorado has a lot of options. We, of course, enjoy both, but this year cross country or Nordic skiing is probably easier to stay away from others. However, if you do plan on going to a ski resort this year, just make sure you get those parking reservations in advance and be prepared to wear a mask when you have to go indoors and can't stay six feet from others. Also, be wary about going inside to warm up in the lodges because they will probably be limiting their capacities for COVID-19 this year. So just know that when you wanna go in to warm up, uh, they might already be full and you might not be able to go in unless you're eating or drinking, which also presents its own set of challenges. Uh, also available at most ski resorts is ice skating and tubing or sledding for those of you not so keen on downhill skiing. Another favorite event at the ski resorts around the holidays are the torchlight parades and fireworks shows that they put on on Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. I'm not 100% sure what those will look like this year at this time, but keep an eye on your preferred ski resort website for upcoming details on those. Dillon Ice Castles near all the ski resorts is another really fun outdoor activity. The ice castles are big enough to explore, complete with ice caves and slides, and it makes for a really good Instagram opportunity. Speaking of the gram, all of the footage you've been seeing of Luke and I is from our Instagram page, where we also like to chronicle our adventures. So if you're enjoying the content from our YouTube channel, be sure to click on over to our Instagram, Mulehawk Adventures, to see more current updates about where we are and what we've been up to. Second up is dog sledding and snowmobiling. Our favorite place to dog sled is called Good Time Adventures and it's in Breckenridge. And it looks like the only COVID restriction they have right now is that you have to wear a mask when you're around others and that you need to make your reservations in advance on their website or by phone. I'm again assuming this has to do with limiting those capacities to just people in your party. I haven't been snowmobiling yet, but I would really like to go. And Luke recommends this place near Winter Park in Grand Lake. You might wanna bring as much of your own gear as possible so you don't have to rent theirs for sanitation purposes. Although they do point out here on their website that they are putting forth a lot of effort to sanitize their rental gear. Third is hiking, snowshoeing, and sledding. There are lots of great places to do winter hiking or snowshoeing in Colorado, but our favorite is of course, Rocky Mountain National Park, um, but be wary of closures because we had a lot of wildfires in the area this season. So some of the parts of the park might be closed. Um, and we always recommend that if you plan on visiting the National Park for more than one day, that you pick up the National Park Annual Pass for $80 as it gets you into all the national parks, not just Rocky, as many times as you want for the whole year. Be sure to note that if you would like to sled in the National Park, that Hidden Valley is the only place you are legally allowed to do that in Rocky Mountain National Park. 
Another favorite place to explore in Colorado is the area around the Million Dollar Highway in a town called Ure. I know a lot of locals pronounce it Ure, but I call it Ure, and it is known for ice climbing in winter. So even if ice climbing's not something you'd really be into, it'd still be pretty cool to check out the ice park, to see the giant icicles and like the cascades of ice uh, coming down, and to see the climbers do their thing. Um, Ure also has hot springs, which are open in the winter. Um, and as you can see, they do have some COVID precautions in place to help keep you safe. Farther west is Rifle Mountain Park, which is a lot like the ice park in Ure, except these ice caves are naturally occurring. We loved exploring and camper vanning in this area a couple of winters ago, and visiting the nearby Iron Mountain Hot Springs is also a huge plus. A few miles away is Rifle State Park, where you can do some easy hikes or snowshoe on the trails to see some pretty unique waterfalls. Chaffee County near Buena Vista and Salida is also a nice place to see snow-capped mountains as the collegiate peaks are home here. The area is also a hot spring hot spot with Mount Princeton and Cottonwood Hot Springs Resorts, which are open through the winter with some COVID precautions you can see here. Getting down to the last two, so thanks for sticking with me. Next up would be the Denver Botanical Gardens. Every year they put on this really cool light display throughout the gardens, these different um, light shows that they call Blossoms of Light. Um, so if you're keen to check that out, make sure you get these tickets in advance because I hear they sell out fast. Other, there's other light festivals or even just driving around to see people's holiday lights. It's also a really fun and safe holiday activity you can do here in Colorado. In fact, if you download the K9 News app like I did, you can even see on this Near Me section where people post um, private residences who do Christmas light shows and displays so that you can find them easily on the map and drive to them and check them out. And I will say, some people around here have gotten pretty impressive with their personal light show displays. Best part about that one is it's a totally free. The final activity I wanted to share with you that we found to be super fun in Colorado in winter is to do escape rooms. I know, I opted not to include any museums or shopping or restaurants in this list due to COVID concerns. And this is the only indoor activity on the list because you are guaranteed to do it with your own immediate party. So you won't be with strangers. Yes, you'll be indoors and you'll be wearing a mask, but you'll just be with members of your own party. And they do sanitize the rooms before and after every game. Uh, you will just make reservations for the escape room you want to do in advance and only you and your party will be allowed in the game at, at the time. We really love the three games offered at Rabbit Hole uh, in Louisville because the tech and the quality of the theming of the puzzles and the games is just really high. It's really hard to beat. So we really recommend that one. But there are so many other really good high quality escape rooms offered in Colorado. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. If you found this information helpful, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and maybe clicking over to subscribe to our channel because we do similar content every week. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.